Top of the morning, gentlemen. Hi, John Silver. City down a table to starve, but if he kindly will. Sir, piping a ha, and this be for Dr. Livesey. Uh, asking his pardon for being that familiar, but uh, Squire, he's told me so much about the two of ye, it comes natural to call ye by name, it do. <laughs> and this'll be young Master Arkins, I'll be bound. Arkins. Tis a proper seafaring name, too. You run your house well, my man, and you keep a good table, too. Thank you, thank you, sir. It isn't often I see fruit in an English tavern for breakfast. Ah. It's a rule of health I learned while sailing under the immortal ark. Ah, rest in peace. You sailed under the ark. That I did sir. <laughs> I sailing under the ark. at Quiberland Bay. When you shipped with the Admiral, you never took scurvy from the salt pork and hard deck. Not with a barrel of apples aboard for the men that you want. There's sense in that, Trelawney. Something we could profit by. And will, by gad, there'll be apples on my ship, too. <laughs> You favors the Admiral yourself, Squire, if I may say so. Why, you and he could make up your mind like that. Do I know? That he do, sir. I've noticed it afar. It wouldn't surprise me none to hear you say, Eve at the anchor. We sails on the hour. <sighs> Can't say without a crew. All the hemming and hawing that goes on, you'd think there wasn't an honest seaman to be had in Bristol. I begs to differ, sir, if I may make so bold. Why? There's a full cargo of my old shipmates as sailed with Ark, becarmed right here in Bristol. <laughs> Sound men inside, if some of them was scarred in the service of England. Uh, and they with no pensions, neither. Could a score of those four must hands be had on short notice? Aye, sir, but they wouldn't be pretty enough for the modern taste. Nowadays, they picks the younger men by the cut of their jib, not the old ones for their experience. Appearances be hanged. Silver, get me those men. But it ain't a cook's place to muster no hands. That's captain's work. It's an owner's place, Brother Hokey. If you can bring in a crew of your stout-hearted dads come sundown, I, for one, will be greatly obliged. Well, sir, if tis owner's orders... Bully boy! But I don't like to be pushing athwart my betters, but... I'll say this, sir. I know every seaman in these here parts like the palm of his hand. Did you know Captain Billy Bones? Bones? Billy Bones? <laughs> what ship did he sail in, matey? He was a pirate. 